Here are the top five Webflow alternatives. Number one, Card. Two, Softer. Three, Doric. Four, Framer. And five, Web Studio. We're gonna go one at a time, look at key features, the pricing, which one I would choose. Let's start with Card. This is a platform where you can create simple, free, responsive, one-page sites. They're beautiful, they're very easy to create, and allows you to build your brand very easily and without much fluff. Now, the drawback is you can't be having multiple pages. It's made as a one page site. But if you want something that looks very professional and easy to use and manage, Card is where it's at. If you want something a little bit more advanced where you can create also web apps and a website if you choose to, Softer is a great option. If you need to create a database and make your site a little bit smarter and be able to do a lot more things, that's what software is made for. You can have it integrate with Airtable, Google Sheets, and you can create a lot of different things with software. In fact, when we're creating um, minimal viable products, MVPs, if we're trying to create marketplaces, if we're cr creating um, platforms for courses, and web apps, tons of different web, web apps, software is for you. And we actually have a link down below how you can get started for free. Doric is an option if you're going to be looking to create websites. And especially if you're looking to become an agency or you are an agency and you're trying to scale and manage multiple websites for a client, Doric is a great option for agencies as well. For Framer, this is probably the closest thing I would say to Webflow in how robust it can be. But I just feel like Framer is just years ahead of Webflow in how I want to create sites. It allows you, especially with Framer AI, to create a website the way that you want it in just a few minutes by telling it exactly what your kind of site that you're looking for, and then it comes to life. It allows you to have a lot more details similar to Webflow, and it's very robust. And the community is getting very big. Now, Webflow still has a bigger community at this time, but Framer, I like how many new additions that they're making and just a lot of things that I can create. Now, a new player on the scene that has just launched very recently on Product Hunt is Web Studio. The founder of Web Studio actually came from Webflow. And the way that they created uh, Web Studio, it also is open source. So if you want to host it, you can actually um, host it and you don't need <laughs> you don't need to use their uh, cloud plan. And so you can do this for free. Um, it's open source. You can use all the different um, cloud features and go from there. Even if you're starting at a hobby level, it's free. And we'll go into pricing a little bit more in depth in a moment with Web Studio. But one of the, the things that they're really focused on is making it a open source competitor to, a competitor to Webflow. Um, and the community on Twitter and what they're doing with the launch with Product Hunt is really impressive. And there's a lot of things that are coming up that they're going to be launching with uh, Web Studio. So that's just something that I'm I'm really interested in. And if you want, let me know in the comment section down below. We might do a breakdown video how to get started with Web Studio as well. All right, so let's look at pricing for all these different ones, depending on what you're looking for. Card comes in at $19 a year. And you can get a lot of different deals with them too, especially with Black Friday sales and everything like that but i mean an all-in site for 19 dollars a year that look this that looks this great it's responsive all those things i i think it's a no-brainer if i'm looking for something very simple i'm even trying to embed forms do something very very basic card can do that and people that want to use zapier or other things um that you want to integrate with it card is available to do that so i think that if i'm looking at the price and everything like that it's it's a no-brainer for me. Also, I can add forms to it. I can have different widgets and embeds if I want to start, um, you know, having Stripe or Gumroad or PayPal. And you have no branding if you pay $19 a year. For softer, 
the pricing varies depending on what you're doing. You can start for free, uh, but then it scales to $49 or $139 um, a month. So free, you can have five internal and 100 external app users. Now, this is new. Uh, newer, if you're just getting started with uh, softer, there wasn't a limit on users like this before. But the thing is with softer, they're really focusing on either internal use, internal apps for companies, or um, the scalability if you're looking to get validation and getting customers. I view it this way. Softer is still a bargain because the way it allows you to build and how good it looks I view software as a place where you can validate and then either go to another website or another platform if I need to scale and my numbers just don't make sense to be this small anymore for software. That being said, I still think it's a great option if you're going to be building a website to get started, you're going for validation, all of those different things, software is very, very powerful, including their marketplace uh, templates, what you can do for client portals, what you can do for job boards, all of those different things. Um, I, I'm just, I'm still a huge fan of software. Just depends on the use case that you're looking for. For Doric, if I'm going to be looking to scale it and have an agency, I mean, it's $29 a month to have 20 to, 25 to 250 custom domains at $29 a month, unlimited pages, unlimited collaborators. I can white label the dashboard, client building, uh, billing, agency branding. That comes in at uh, $29 a month. If I want a personal site, it's going to be $23. Uh, I mean, excuse me, $3.29. Um, so we would be billed $79 for the first two years, and then it would be $48 annually. That's interesting. So it even drops down in price. Very, very interesting. I That's 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 interesting what they're going to be doing with that. So they're rewarding you for being loyal with them. That's very interesting. Um, you can have one custom domain. For business, you would be get, getting billed uh, $199 for the first two years and then 129 annually uh, i can have three to ten custom domains ten thousand members unlimited pages ten collaborators so again i even on the business plan i could still be uh building out my my agency to start with probably i'd be at a freelancer level before i go to agency level so again i can be building very professional sites um for a very specific niche and go from there so not bad pricing. For Framer, let's take a look at the pricing. Free for the hobby projects, $5 a month. The mini sites for landing pages, $5 per month. Home and then uh, a 404 page, custom domains, 1,000 visitors, $5. The basic at $15 per month. Um, let's see, personal site, unlimited pages. Um, one CMS collection, uh, customer management system, and then 10 pages search limit. Interesting. 10,000 visitors per month, and then uh, $25 per uh, per month if I'm going with pro. Bigger sites, analytics, staging, redirects, 10 CMS collections, 25 page search limit. Um, I, I Again, I would probably just, it depends on what you're trying to build. The, the advantage of Framer is if I'm going to have a lot more, uh, I want more control of the site, I want something very specific, I would, that's, that's what Framer is for. Very similar uh, to Webflow. Um, but I just find that the workflow is, I just enjoy it more. Um, so that's interesting. That's interesting. That's for Framer. The pricing depends. Now, let's talk, let's talk about, um, Web Studio. Again, um, I, I touched upon it before. Um, for the hobby level, five custom domains, 10,000 page views. Look at that. At the hobby level, 10,000 page views. If we're just comparing, like, you know, the pricing, of course, Framer has a lot more to offer at this point because Web Studio just got started. But if you look at, let's see, 10,000 visitors, $15 um, for the basic plan free here 
five hundred thousand, which is the pro level. We're looking at you know hundred thousand at twenty five, right? So looking at the prices, it's going to differ a little bit. And this is when we're doing the cloud uh, plans. If I go and host it myself, and I self-host it, um, I can have everything, and it's going to be free. It just says limits depends on your hosting, which makes sense, depending on how I'm hosting it and everything like that. So that's what I would be looking at. Their features, pretty basic. I would probably look at their roadmap because this just launched relatively, I mean, very recently. So for Web Studio, I would be looking at some of the things that they're looking to do this year. For example, integrations, databases, UI kits, Figma token syncs, which is interesting. Uh, CMS versioning later in 2023, real-time collaboration, interactions and animations. So again, it's just, just getting started. Uh, but again, they're looking to be a competitor for uh, Webflow and in going from there. Now, if I'm going through all of these, which one I would choose, it really depends on what you're trying to create. Card, if I'm trying to be a professional freelancer or I'm trying to have a very concise brand that is easy to maintain and I'm just getting started out, Card would be a wonderful choice. If you're a consultant, if you're doing any of those things, Card would be a wonderful choice. If I'm trying to build out an MVP, a minimal viable product, I'd probably go with Softer if I'm trying to create a basic marketplace to get validation to get my first 10 to 50 customers and try to go this route if I'm raising funds or if I'm bootstrapping, I view software as a great option. If I'm going the agency route and I'm going to try to put my name out there, I'm going to be a um, expert with a very specific uh, platform, I would probably look at Doric or probably closer to Framer. Doric long-term would be cheaper. And if I'm making a very specific type of site, I see this as a rinse and repeat. If I'm going to go for local businesses and I'm going to create very specific plug and play sites. It's a rinse and repeat. We're just changing out their images, but we're just going and scaling. I'd probably do something with Doric. Um, they do have options for a membership, but I can have a whole other video why if I was going to do a full membership site, I would go for a platform that specializes in memberships. If you want to know more about that, let me know in the comment section down below, but I'm going to leave it there. Um, so again, agency for framer or dork and if i'm thinking about something long term i i know that it's not a perfect product right now i want to be a part of a community similar to webflow but i am focused on helping something that is open source i'd be looking at web studio and uh really looking into the team and thinking about can i really start um investing in webflow and investing in web studio long term if i'm used to webflow if i'm interested in that by the way we have no problems with webflow in fact we have some of the top creators that we've had on past programs being a link down below shout out to Sako, who created some of the craziest um projects on webflow including the lord of the ring game the ps4 all of those things using webflow um there'll be a link down below when we interviewed them but those are the, the five different ones that I would consider as alternative for Webflow. If you like these kind of videos, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to get help with your next project, we have something called uh, Docs Connections, where we actually can pair you with a professional if you're trying to create this. Or if you want to start uh, to build something of your own and you don't know where to start, there's a link down below for idea to app. Let us know in the comment section what you're looking for. And again, if you're interested in getting a professional for your next project, fill out Doc's connection and we'll connect you with someone in my network. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.